Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here in Ocala, Florida and we are heading to the Great Florida Bigfoot Conference. They are having it today, June 8th, 2024. If this is your first time in the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As we enter in, there is a giant inflatable Bigfoot greeting us at the door. That's really cool. And it is located in the World Equestrian Center. All right, we have entered in the Great Florida Bigfoot Conference 2024. This is a one day only event. And let's go see some merchandise. This is the line for the food court. It stretches all the way back here. That's a big line, wow. This booth is called Sasquatch the Legend. They have some really cool t-shirts over here. This is a really cool one. They got a Don Squatching hat. They have the Bigfoot Boulevard sign over here. This is a really cool sign. Don't stop believing Sasquatch. They got a bunch of merchandise over here. National Park Service sign. They have one Bigfoot air freshener left. That's really cool. I might get this. They have a little bag here. Go find a Squatch. This is really nice. They have official merchandise for the event. This is really cool. They got Bigfoot plushes. They got a Bigfoot sign for $10. They got trucker hats, stickers and patches. They got this tape measure for five bucks. Really cool. And they're advertising this year that there is a Bigfoot Alaskan cruise happening. Here is the information if you are interested. That would be cool. A Bigfoot Alaskan cruise. He's like, oh, so he picks this spot, we go there, hike in, turns out it's in Washington State and it unknowns to me, because I wasn't a member of the BFRO, I just had a relationship with them to get them stories. <laughs> it's their hot spot, unknowns to me. So we get out there, and what's so weird about this experience, you guys, is we get, it's, there's a... Matt Pruitt and I were talking about it last night. So when Matt came into my life, that was like a year or two after it happened, and he was just like, you gotta be kidding, I've been there, what? And he actually has a video of the washout. People don't get back there because you hike about two and a half miles and there's this huge washout, and then it's still like another three miles after that to get to the camp. So it's a little, you know, people don't wanna go back there. <laughs> and we were talking at the bar last night, and he was like, you mean here? And I was like, oh my God, send me that video, yes. So me and my buddy caught a ride in the truck, because the road was closed, they put, we jump in, drives us there, and then we hike beyond it. Nobody's out there. And then we set up our camp, we do a day hike up to the Alpine Lakes, and we're up there and we're like, woo! Just, and this is before the show, so we're just like, when you're at a lake and it's hot, it's August, you're like, yeah, you know. Elk are everywhere, cougar tracks, cougar scat everywhere, we set up our we, we set up our tent, we cook our meal, it's a beautiful night, no clouds in the sky, the moon's gonna come over like this. We have um, a fly on, that's it, but nothing on the tent wall. And in the interest of time, I'm laying here on the ground, Brett's here, there's our tent wall, and about three feet away is a big ponderosa pine. So you have this logging road that comes up, and then there's a kind of a carved out groomed area for a campsite, but there's big ponderosa pines like every less than six feet so that you can't get a car in there. And there's a slight slope. So we, I'm exhausted. <laughs> if I hadn't mentioned this already, I'm exhausted. He sleeps like the dead, unbeknownst to me. I have a sleep disorder. I have parasomnia. Mike Birbiglia, he stole my stand of that. Before we go to sleep, I grab my dive knife and my flashlight and I hand it to Brett and I say, if anything happens, make sure that I am actually awake. Go to sleep. I don't know how long we're out for when all of a sudden I sit up and because I'm hearing this, it sounds like tch, 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 like on gravel. And so I get up on my elbows and I see on the tent wall what I best describe as like a ball as if somebody's got a flashlight because it was, it was white ish you know it's whitish yellow it's like somebody's running you know because the campground the campsite is long it's like they're coming down and they're holding a flashlight and that it's bouncing on the temple so that's i see that and i roll around and, I'm like, and i shake him and the second i say bread i don't yell it i'm like bread, bread, you know i hear this slide and the light goes out 
So I'm like on Brett, and I'm looking that way, and now the, the temple is just dark. This light's gone, it's just dark. So now I'm just listening. And I am not thinking Bigfoot. I'm like, somebody's gonna come like, ding, 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 ding. Your mouth's pretty. That's what I was thinking. So I'm like, so now I'm like, okay, they know that I'm awake. So I'm just listening, I'm listening, listening, nothing. It's tent wall, the tent door, this is a door I could, you know, tent door is dark, no sound. So I'm just sitting there and sitting there and I don't hear anything. So I'm like, heart slows down. And I'm like, you know, I was, I got a sleep disorder. I probably just imagine that. Cause I do a parasomnia. I've seen things on this, you know, you, you're wacky. You know, so I lay down. I'm on my back and I'm like, and I'm hearing things. Now, Ponderosa Pine, the lee side of a mountain, is very dry. That mountain is, Mount Rainier is, is a rain shadow, so that it's, it's very, so there's that echoey sound to the ground. So I'm hearing this like step, and then maybe a step, step, but I'm never hearing more, I just see one or two, and I'm hearing it over here, and I'm like, am I hearing things? I'm trying to drift off, but I'm like, having this conversation with myself. So I say, you know, I swear I'm hearing up here. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm exhausted, I, this is stupid. I'm going to sleep. So I lay on my left side, and Brett's on his back right here, and I drift off to sleep. And I don't know how much later, I'm shocked. And I'm like, something shoves me, and I land on Brett, and I'm kind of half on him, his head is here, and I'm like, and I don't scream, but I'm like, I remember, I remember shaking his shoulder, and I remember, you know, grabbing his shirt, and he's on his back, and he just goes, mm, like that. And I'm on the ground, and I hear, over here, mm, but with a resonance that I can't mimic. And in that moment, I don't know how it happened, but I'm off of Brett and my knees are up under me and I'm doing this and I start monitoring what Duke told me. I'm a good person, just leave me alone. I'm a good person, just leave me alone. I'm a good person, just leave me alone. And then I'm, I don't know, I mean, I was freaked out. I was freaked out. Because what that sound was, was not a dude. It wasn't anybody from, you know, deliverance. I mean, just that I couldn't explain. So when I gathered my wits, I was like, you are being ridiculous. And I put my legs down and I roll myself over slowly. And I'm like, where? And as I'm doing this, by the way, I am pinching him. I am taking his skin and I'm like, because I'm like, am I, is this lucid sleep disorder dreaming? What is going on, you know? But I'm waking out. So I finally get on my back and I'm like, Renee Lynn Hall and you pick up that temple right now. So I, come on, because how, I mean, your sleeping bag when you're freaked out sounds like aluminum foil, right? So it's like I pull it down, I look up the temple, and I can see the tree. And then it occurs to me, when this thing started 20, 30 minutes ago, I couldn't see the tree. Because something was at the tent door. Because I couldn't see the tree. So I'm standing there, and then what do I hear? And I'm hearing it again, and I'm just like, all right. And I literally do this. Unzip my tent, roll it open, put the tent behind me, and I just sit there and look out the window, and I said, okay, you're gonna show yourself, but don't you be, don't you be shoving me again. Just fight and flight. I fight. And I just sat there, and I looked at that tent wall, and slowly the sun rose. And the birds began to chirp, and our little princess woke up. Oh. Hi! What? Daniel's here. What dude? And I'm just like, what is wrong with you? And he's like, what, what, what? I was like, somebody was in our campsite last night and freaking out. I was like, what is wrong with you? Wait, I told you I have a sleep disorder. You have a sleep disorder too, of a whole other variety that you should have shared. Good God, man. So I get out, no tracks. I walk around and I say, as a scientist, go lay where I was sleeping, get on your side. 
can you hear me? I'm like 170 pounds and I'm muscular. Can you hear me? I had to be like, at 170 pounds, I had to be about this close where I could, he could hear me stepping. So then I said, lean on your side, and I squatted down and I shoved him, and he's like, oh, and it was about here. I was like, okay, whatever. We have a long, we have a multi-mile hike out downhill, but we gathered our tent, we got out of here, we both had to work on Monday. And as we're heading back out, it's hot, so we dipped in the river really quick. So, you know, the sports bra, I dump in, and Brett's like, hey, wait, come here, Renee, turn around. I've got a red mark on my back about yay big. It's right here. It lasted, it, was, it wasn't a bruise, but like for two days. It lasted until like Monday evening for my, my boxing class. And I was like, I don't know what that was, but it's like, I don't know, stigmata, I don't know. But again, these are experiences I've had. <laughs> that I can't explain, but I just know that they do leave me alone when I tell them I'm out doing good work. So, I don't know, I don't know. You guys, there's a gentleman that's over here. Daniel, I know you're gonna walk on your stage, he's about to do his presentation, but this is the guy over there. Just wait for a second, Daniel. This community, I got burned, and I, when I say this, I mean mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally exhausted by finding Bigfoot. It was a lot, and I mean television production work, and, and Animal Planet was good to us, and there's still friends I made, but it was a lot, and I took time away. But I come back now to this community because I realize there's so much I miss here, and he has also been a big part of that in his family, so I wanna thank all of you guys for coming here to what I think is a great event. Check some of the other ones out. Um, you're my community. And even though we might have different opinions on what Bigfoot is, just realize I'm an advocate and a mentor for peer reviewed science. I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna push back. The Renee Sears is gonna come out. If it's junk science, don't get mad at me. I just wanna keep it real because I want us to all find the truth as well. So thank you guys all so much. I'm gonna give, toss it back to Ryan. Thank you again, come see me at my booth. Thanks you guys. Got some <laughs> big foot Never heard of the footprints over scenery? here. Well, that's a pretty big, that's my home big foot footprint. That one only has three toes. The town itself is in, Now, where are these uh, from? Where are these from? Ocala, Ocala. 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 Oh, these are found in Ocala? Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. about a mile and a half oh, south of the Oh, wow. That's a pretty big footprint. A lot of wilderness. A lot of wilderness. This is Mid Florida Bigfoot Research Group, and they got some Bigfoot casts on their table that they say that they were found in Florida. Wow. Skunk Ape Bigfoot track found in November 2021. I was like saying, These are other giant big footprints. Really cool. Or the Florida Stunky. Or this one could be from the Pacific Northwest. In this booth, they have Bigfoot wood knockers, baseball bats for 30 bucks. This is a really cool wood knocker here. They use these to try to call Bigfoot. They got brand new Tim Sasquatch potato chips. These are really cool. I might pick one of these up too. Oh, and they got the Jack Link's beef jerky. That's really awesome. That's an awesome mug. This is a one day event, June 8th, 2024. There is a ton of people here. It is packed. There are so many people just shopping around, meeting Bigfoot celebrities from the TV shows. And here are some of the Bigfoot celebrities that are here today. Adam Davies, Matt Pruitt, Ken Gerhard, Renee Hollins over there from Finding Bigfoot. This booth is just all t-shirts and hats. Really nice t-shirts right here. This is a really cool Bigfoot costume right over here at this booth. They got this really cool Bigfoot art, $10. They got this Bigfoot scenic route sign, Bigfoot search permit, lifetime search permit. There's actually Sasquatch hot sauce right here. I really like the Mountain Dude license plate over here. That's really cool. This booth is the Mothman legend booth. 
and they got Mothman t-shirts. Really nice t-shirts, Bigfoot and Mothman together. Here are some other Mothman t-shirts that are really cool. I might buy a t-shirt today, I'm not really sure. But I did purchase something already. This is the Area 52 booth and they got an alien. What is it? Paul the alien. All right. I didn't I know, see that movie. right? Yeah. Like one of my favorite all time. There's Paul the Alien. These are cool. And they got these Bigfoot cutout displays here. That's really cool. Oh, this one's like a compass. Bigfoot plush. Here's a Yeti, and there's the Bigfoot. Bigfoot plush are $30, and the small ones are $15. This is a really cool Bigfoot statue, $20, $85. I thought that said $25, but it's $85. And then they got the mini one here for $40. They got a T-Rex, a dragon's head, triceratops. Here are these Sasquatch plushes. They are $20. They are really cool. They have a black one, a brown one. Really nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. So these are handmade plushes. That's awesome. They are not from China. They are not from China. <laughs> Okay. They are not from China. They are USA made. Here's a Bigfoot poker puzzle. A thousand piece puzzle. They're playing poker. Oh my god, look how cute. Oh, this is cool. This is a handmade Bigfoot cutting board. It's really cool. It's got the logo Believe with the Bigfoot there. This is a really cool Bigfoot wood cutout. Bigfoot keychains right here, all different ones. Looks like that's a Christmas ornament, I believe. These Squatch Bucky's t-shirts, they're really cool. This one's a sweatshirt. That's gonna do it for this video today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.